Hello, my name is Carol Ross and today I am here with Mr. Bill Gates who is the co-founder of Microsoft Studios. Hello Mr. Gates, how are you doing today? Good, how about you Mrs. Ross? I'm fine, thanks for asking. So today I am here to interview Mr. Gates. So what would you like to know? So Mr. Gates, where were you born? Well, I was born in Seattle, Washington on October 28, 1955 to the late Mary Maxwell Gates and Mr. William Gates Sr. So what was it like growing up in Seattle, sir? It was like a rush of crime and theft every time and everywhere you went if you were caught in the wrong section of town well that was just it for you nowhere was truly safe then. Wow, so it really wasn't safe back then anywhere. No, Mrs. Ross, it was. So are you married? Yes, Mum, and I am a proud father of three children. The Gates' home is an earth-sheltered house in the side of a hill overlooking Lake Washington in Medina. Would you like me to tell them why I am famous or would you rather? I would be honored. Microsoft is a multinational computer technology corporation. The history of Microsoft began on April 4, 1975 when it was founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen in Albuquerque. Its current best-selling products are the Microsoft Windows operating system and the Microsoft Office suite of productivity software. Starting in 1980, Microsoft formed an important partnership with IBM that allowed them to bundle Microsoft's operating system with computers that they sold, paying Microsoft a royalty for every sale. In 1985, IBM requested that Microsoft try a new operating system for their computers called OS-2. Microsoft wrote the operating system, but also continued to sell their own alternative, which proved to be in direct competition with OS-2. Microsoft Windows eventually overshadowed OS-2 in terms of sales. When Microsoft launched several versions of Microsoft Windows in the 1990s, they had captured over 90 market share of the world's personal computers. The company has now become largely successful. As of 2008, Microsoft has a global annual revenue of US dollars 60.42 billion and nearly 90,000 employees in 105 countries. It develops, manufactures, licenses, and supports a wide range of software products for computing devices. In 1987, Gates was officially declared a billionaire in the pages of Forbes 400 Richest People in America issue, just days before his 32nd birthday. As the world's youngest self-made billionaire, he was worth $1.25 billion, over $900 million more than he'd been worth the year before, when he debuted on the list. Time magazine named Gates one of the 100 people who most influenced the 20th century, as well as one of the 100 most influential people of 2004, 2005, and 2006. Time also collectively named Gates, his wife Melinda and you two's lead singer Bono as the 2005 Persons of the Year for their humanitarian efforts. In 2006, he was voted 8th in the list of Heroes of Our Time. Gates was listed in the Sunday Times Power list in 1999, named CEO of the year by Chief Executive Officers magazine in 1994, ranked number one in the top 50 cyber elite by time in 1998, ranked number two in the upside elite 100 in 1999 and was included in The Guardian as one of the top 100 influential people in media in. Couldn't have said it better myself. And thoughts all for today everyone Mr. Bill Gates goodbye.